What's going on guys? So look at this. This is so sad. This is my, I don't know, 15, 20 foot tall papaya tree. Hawaiian papaya tree that I grew from seed. Um, a few years back, I went to the farmer's market, bought a Hawaiian papaya and threw down a seed. And this thing grew awesome for years and years. This summer, for whatever reason, it does not look good, but it's still alive. So you come here, I mean, you can look right back here. There's green there. Um, it's it's still alive. And if you see right here, right there, it's it's two trunks because one winter, um, a few years back, it got uh, really wet and it just kind of rotted. And that part fell off and I wanted to wait and see what would happen and it broke off into two trunks. But look how thick, look at that bad boy. That is thick, right? That's you know, a couple feet in, in diameter and it's still alive. So. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, and you can see here, like, there's still green. Green, green. So it's still very much alive. Just up this way, it's dead. So I'm gonna come back and at about my height, I don't know, at about five feet, I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna cut both trunks and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if it branches off and comes back alive or if it just completely dies. But, um, Funny thing is, I don't eat papaya. I don't like papaya. I just like the way the tree looks. So at the end of the day, if it ends up not coming back, that's okay. But I gotta cut it because now it's an eyesore and this thing is not coming back to life. So anyways, I'm going to cut it and I'll keep you up to date on the progress and uh, let you know if it works or if it doesn't work. And uh, if it does work and it branches off into like a more thick tree with lots of trunks. I think that'll look pretty cool. So I will keep you up to date. All right, so here's the first trunk. That thing was heavy. So you can see I cut it right about here. I don't know, it's about six feet tall. Super juicy inside. Actually kind of really smells. Um, <laughs> but there it is, but it's still very much alive. This thing is just full of water. You can see here it kind of all fibrous and stuff. I, I don't know much about papaya, to be honest, um, or why this would die, or why it would still be alive, but why it would die up top. So that's the first one. I'll get the second one down and let you see it. All right, and here is the second one. I'm sad it took off part of my royal poinciana right there, <laughs> right there. Um, so something I just learned, don't try to cut down a huge papaya tree by yourself. These things are a lot heavier than you think. They're just full of water, like super waterlogged. But anyways, here's how it looks. Now they're about six feet tall, um, the two trunks there, and we will see if they sprout and grow other, other branches, other arms. I'll give you an update and let you know um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Something I wanna show you all, this is crazy. This is from one of the trunks. I didn't realize that, let me set it up right here. I didn't realize that they grow hollow like this inside. Just wanted to show you all, that's pretty cool. Come over here, lift this up. Like they're hollow like that inside. I didn't realize that, but it looks like it's hollow all the way down. This one over here wasn't because it was, it looked pretty rotted out. But that right there, now I'm wondering because we had a super wet winter. Um, I never give this papaya any direct sun or direct water. But of course, all this in here is is water pretty good. But I wonder if because of the wet winter we had, if it just got really waterlogged and that's why, because it smells almost moldy. And down the shadow. I mean, there's this stuff going on. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm wondering now if that's what it was. It was just full of too much water and that's why it stopped growing. So maybe now by doing this, it'll start growing. I want to come up here and look at this. Yeah, it grows hollow in there. That's pretty cool. Anyways, just wanted to show you that. I thought it was interesting. All right, guys, sorry. I keep coming back because I keep finding stuff. So this one that was really, really moldy, full of water. Oh, it smells bad. Like, <laughs> it smells really bad. Um, but anyways, you can see in there, like, some mold in there. It's all mushy, really fibrous, smells like it's rotten. So again, going back to my hypothesis, I'm pretty sure that what happened is it just got way too much water um, and that's what did it. So if I am correct, it's kind of funny because we always talk about like how much water these plants need, but at the end of the day, 
sometimes they can get too much water. And I think that may be what happened. So anyways, I'm gonna stop recording and step away from this because it smells horrible. Thanks guys, I think that's it.